The 48th ASABE Historic Landmark was designated in 2007 in recognition of laser guidance for field machines. High-speed installation of subsurface drains using plow-type equipment became possible in the late 1960s with the development of coilable plastic tubing. Installation could range from 100 to 150 feet per minute, although manual control and depth of grade was not accurate at these high speeds. A prototype laser beam automatic grade control system was designed and developed to meet this need. The prototype was assembled and tested between 1965 and 1967 by USDA ARS employees James L. Faust and Norman R. Fossey, stationed at The Ohio State University. The laser beam transmitter was a battery-powered 0.3 milliwatt helium neon gas laser with a 10x power telescope to collimate and expand the small beam to about 0.5 inches in diameter and a rotating slotted disc to chop the beam 150 cycles per second. The desired drain grade was set on the tripod mounted transmitter at one end of a proposed drain line. The laser beam was projected parallel to and at a fixed distance above the proposed drain pipe. The prototype laser beam receiver had two horizontal rows of phototubes. The signal processing circuit was designed and fabricated for ARS under contract to the Control Systems Company of Urbana, Ohio, Ted L. Teach, co-owner. ARS conducted analog computer simulations of the system to determine the best position to mount the laser receiver on the drain plow frame. Concurrently, Robert H. Studebaker of Tip City, Ohio began developing a laser control for a motor grader. The grader did not always travel in a straight line, thus a laser plane reference was needed. Studebaker and Teach formed the Laser Plane Corporation in Dayton, Ohio. The first commercial laser plane grade control system was field demonstrated at the 1968 Ohio State Farm Science Review. The ARS engineers adopted the laser plane for the drain plow. Multiple drains could be installed in a field without moving the laser transmitter. After 1971, almost all plows and trenchers sold in the United States, Canada, and Europe were equipped with laser-based grade control. The laser systems became the standard engineering method for surveying, leveling, grading, alignment and guidance applications, including nighttime operations. The laser beam and laser plane systems were widely adapted for multiple applications in agriculture, engineering, construction, and industry worldwide. Economic returns from applying this technology have been tremendous.